All right, here we go with the watch list for Thursday, January 17th. Kind of a narrow range on the SPY today. Small gap up, took off, but ended up coming back down. Here it is on five minute candles. So there's the open and ended up closing about where it opened. A pretty um, uneventful day as far as the market goes. Um, pretty nice day if you were in chat today and you caught uh, BIOC. I went ahead and tweeted this screenshot. So I'm going to actually use it before I go into the watch list here. Uh, because it's kind of got all the lines drawn out just to quickly explain the calls that I made. Um, and this, these, I'm showing you five minute candles. There's the big pop the other day. Then all of this right here is yesterday. Then today uh, landed on the watch list again because it's a recent high flyer. Huge move the other day. And then a night, there's the opening five minute candle right there. Just a tight opening range breakout is what I was looking for. Call this over the mic if you weren't there in chat. Uh, 185 with a 175 stop. There's a trigger. Um, popped up really nicely. Ended up going up again. And the reason I called this again um, over 250, and I went over this at lunch in chat today, but many of you may have not may not have been there for the Q and A, um, was because you had this nice tight flag again. Yes, it's already had one two decent moves, but the reason I I called this over 250 is there was a very clean seller there, and if you look to the left. 255, 254, 255, I can't remember now, was the high from, um, from yesterday. So you had another potential catalyst and I thought if we take out yesterday's high, we might just go and take out the high of the big move from two days ago, right? So for me, it was worth another trade over 250. Um, we showed you the screenshots in chat. Wayne and I both got filled at exactly 250. Just like we teach in the course, I want to be the last one or as close to I can as being the last one uh, to get it at 250 as that seller is getting taken out. And uh, we, you've seen this happen a lot. Wayne and I both posted our screenshots, both got filled right at 250 and you see the immediate results, uh, really nice pop. Um, and just right here, several people in chat uh, had a good time with BIOC today. So uh, hopefully we'll find another one on, uh, on Thursday. But here's what I'm watching, ADMP. This doesn't look that great and it's really nothing compelling about it except in after hours it's trading, let me see, 292 and it went over 320 at one point. So a possible gapper tomorrow. Um, I don't know what spiked it in after hours and I'm not sure how much volume it had, but it certainly was trading um, nicely above where it closed. So there's a potential gap play tomorrow. We'll see how it looks in the morning though. SAEX, I still like this one uh, for a potential bounce play. Remember when I'm looking for a bounce play, and the reason I'm looking for this as a bounce play is a big three-day move. And now you've got uh, three days lower on declining volume. What I'd really like to see is an afternoon breakout, an afternoon high of day break, hopefully out of a narrow range. Those can be really powerful on what I would call a recent high flyer that's pulled back for a few days. So we'll see. YGYI, kind of the same scenario as SAEX, except you don't have that massive move uh, leading up to this three-day pullback. But... If I give you some numbers, it did actually go from under five bucks to almost eight in about four sessions. So this lower volume pullback, at least the last couple days was lower volume. If pot stocks get moving, YGYI is a potential trade tomorrow. And again, I'd love to see an afternoon breakout of a tight range, but we'll see. ANFI was on bounce watch coming today. Um, closed nicely green, topping out at uh, about 90 cents. Um, I do like the big push here. And then a pullback on lower volume and a little bit of a bounce today. Maybe over 90 cents tomorrow, but I'll have to see how it looks. AWSM. Uh, this chart's super interesting. It just ripped back here all the way over 22. And then it's done really nothing ever since. Well, then, I don't know, about a month ago, maybe three weeks, it popped up to 278 straight sideways since. And then um, on decent volume for the stock, which was still barely over a million shares, um, went as high as 248 today. So really like this, maybe over 250. That might make it run to this uh, 278. And certainly if you get over that, might get a squeeze. So uh, it's probably my favorite chart going to tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see if it gives up proper setup. RNN, nice pop three sessions ago. Inside day, another inside day, closing above its open. This has a potential to break out to the upside. Um, MXWL, uh, nice little breakout today. Extra volume. We'll see if we can get a follow through day tomorrow. Go, go. I've had on watch for several days. Um, somebody PM'd me or DM'd me, I guess it's called on Twitter, and said, hey, this wasn't earnings. Um, and I, I've been saying that this was earnings about a week ago. I, I guess it was uh, maybe they 
pre-announced the upper end of guidance or something. And again, I'm paraphrasing, so I probably have that wrong. Um, but since I've been watching it for a few days since this big day where it at least briefly ripped through four and now it's going sideways, um, I'm not going to take it off my chart until it rolls over or rips through four or whatever. So I, it's just going to be on watch again. I'm not in love with it though. Um, UNFI, big old candle today. I'll give you the range on this thing from 1172 to 1558 and closing really strong on strong volume. That one should be watched for the next several days. Hopefully we get a setup tomorrow, but you never know. VVUS, really nice two-day pop here. Then today looked like it was rolling over, but closed above its open again. So maybe we're going to make another move up to this, uh, retest this 200-day. I don't know. I, I like the action here, so I want to watch it. And then VTVT, um, it's just been in a range. Ever since this big pop, you can kind of picture a pennant or a flag forming. Um, but it's in a range, and it closed pretty much in the middle of its recent range. When I say a range, I mean from the last couple weeks or so. A little bit of extra volume today. Um, if this would have held up better into the close, I'd be more interested in it. But you never know. We might get a great setup in that one tomorrow too. Uh, there's plenty to watch there and we'll add some pre-market uh, gappers to this list as well. Maybe we'll catch a nice gap and go tomorrow too. So we'll see. All right. Um, I'm done babbling. We'll see you all in chat tomorrow.